All right, so I'm gonna try to do some math on the borrow rate, and then I'm hoping that we got some smart enough apes out there that they can confirm or deny this. And if they confirm it and this is accurate, then it's a very simple way to understand the math of how the borrow rate works and why it is an advantage for us. And it doesn't necessarily get guarantee that the price is gonna go up, but there definitely has to be a borrow rate percentage to where they're no longer making money on the trades. And so the only way for them to relieve the pressure would be to let the price go up. So I'm gonna give an example and we'll see what, what everyone thinks about it. Um, but basically I just bought some strikes. Let me take a look at one of the examples that I bought today. So I bought a strike on the 11th of June, a $12 call for a hundred dollars okay the 11th of june a 12 dollar call for a hundred dollars so it's a hundred dollars if the borrow rate is 77 percent then that would be 77 percent per year right so let's say 0.77 and then in a year there's 252 trading days approximately so we'll divide that by 252 so that's per day now june 11th from now until june 11th can we just assume that's probably like to be conservative i'll say 25 trading days it's probably less than that but we'll go ahead and be conservative so that's 7.6 percent so basically for them to take the chance of collecting my hundred dollars as their credit for citadel right citadel is taking my hundred dollars as a credit at that 12 dollar strike in order for them to do it it looks like they got to pay $7.60 to 7.6%. And because it's $100, it comes out to exactly the same number, which is $7.63 in order to collect my $100. That's how I understand the borrow rate. Um, and then if you apply it to stock, um, man, if you apply it to stock, then that would basically suggest like for, so for example, if let's say the stock is $10 right now, if you apply to 77% to the stock, that would suggest that they're shorting the stock on margin as 77% interest, they're only going to be able to make $2.30. No, that doesn't exactly work out. So I don't think it'd be work I don't think the borrow rate but they have to be borrowing the shares to short the stock. How can the borrow rate be 80%? That means if it moved down 1%, they would only be able to collect one fifth of that. Who would bet against? Like that's the worst bet I've ever heard in my whole life. Nobody would ever make that bet. That doesn't make any sense. Like the shorts would cover and the stock price would go up, but we've already seen the borrow rate fail us. So maybe the borrow rate only applies to option, option pricing. Can somebody explain? I think it's option pricing. The logic that I just worked out in my head tells me it only applies to options and that's what the borrow rate's all about. And it's all in relation to the amount of the credit that they're collecting. And so the lower the credit, you gotta think in terms of the borrow rate and does it become worth it? And at some point, they are. it makes no sense for them to accept certain trades because they're no longer making money on it and they're kind of just free, they're letting us kind of free roll a small amount of money where they're not even making a profit on it. So I think the bar rate does help us when it goes up, but I don't know that they can't stop it. Like, like because they got another 20 million shares to short, right? And so I'm sure that Aaron is shorting the shares still. And every time he does that, I'm sure it lowers the borrow rate or something. I don't know, man. I don't know. If somebody's got answers to this and you want to come on my stream or you want to call in, like we're looking for answers, people.